what have I been playing? I beat Metro Dread. Um, over the past two weeks or so that it's been out, um, I played the whole game. I played it offline, I didn't play it on stream. Um, because I don't know, I just didn't feel that Metro Dread was a very stream friendly game. I don't know why. Um, I think it's a, it's a very the game that really you you need to put all your attention into it and like I feel me playing the game and trying to entertain, trying to talk, trying to narrate what's going on would have really put me in a very not the, the right uh, headspace to beat a game such as Metroid Dread. So I decided to sit down, enjoy it, and play it on a big OLED TV, which is I'm sure what a lot of people are doing with their new OLED switches. Um, but it is a beautiful game i'll say that um the pros about this game um the story is very straightforward it makes it easier for newcomers to you know become fans in an instant because the game does a really good uh job of explaining the story the backstory um all the previous games up to this point um as we all know metroid right is the fifth game in the metroid series um so you don't necessarily have to play all the previous games to understand what's going on um, it helps, of course, it helps to play the older games because there's a lot of lore that you might not pick up over on your first playthrough of Metroid Dread. Um, but even the, the initial animation, the initial little uh, um, summary of events does a really good job of explaining how uh, Sam has got to where she is currently, what's going on, what are the X, uh, what are the Chozo, kinda, um, and how uh, uh, Samus, you know, became to be the super powerful space bounty hunter. Um, uh, but yes, uh, like I said already, the story is still very lore heavy. It's filled with very rich history of the Metroid series. Um, mechanically, the controls are extremely smooth. Samus feels so good to move, uh, play around with, uh, traverse the different uh, rooms, the different levels. Feels very, very natural. Um, it just feels like a, a, she moves like a person would move, a very athletic person, of course. Um, but it just feels very fluid. The movement is very fluid, very easy to pick up. Um, it's very easy to understand what each button does. It's not very, it's, it's honestly, the controls aren't very technical. It's very straightforward. I mean, most Metroid games are like that. It's just, I think the hardest thing about any Metroid game has always been wall jumping. Um, but even that in this game is a lot easier to do, um, which I really do appreciate because damn, I remember playing Metroid Fusion and getting so upset trying to get those wall jumps perfectly and it is really, really hard to time those perfectly. The game is very difficult, but however, it is not unfair at all. Um, every single time that I died, uh, whether that be with an enemy, uh, whether that be with a normal enemy or with a boss fight, it always felt like it was me who was kind of like uh, uh, falling short. Um, maybe I wasn't following the patterns correctly. Maybe I wasn't um, using the right attacks. Maybe I wasn't being very um, aggressive. Maybe I wasn't very too defensive with my attacks. Um, maybe my movement was just bad, but it never felt unfair. Like all the fault falls on me. It never felt like, damn, like this game is really making it really unfair for me to beat this boss like no um even someone like me who is i'm, I'm self-proclaimed terrible at games i love video games but i'm pretty bad at them i accept that um still i found patterns in, in the boss fights after like the, the fifth time trying to beat a boss and like even i was able to beat uh, metroid dread the art style is beautiful it is very atmospheric um i like samus's suit she looks amazing in this game it's just amazing what they did with the art style um like i already said the, the movements make everything feel so smooth and flowy i will say though um even though the art style is really nice and really beautiful the emmy is they 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 talk them up to be these very creepy creatures and really scary creatures um i never felt afraid if anything i felt panic anytime i was being chased by one but i knew where i was going to be chased by one because they clearly say that you're about to enter an enemy controlled area like i would i would have i would have liked more if the doors to these enemy controlled areas weren't so 
uh, specific or when very very characteristic like if they would have made them as normal rooms in in this in this world maybe i would have been more a little bit more scared because you just probably only hear their little like uh, whistling you'd be like oh damn there's an enemy close by instead of me like saying okay this door is all weird this is an enemy control area i'm about to more than likely gonna meet an enemy so that's the only thing i didn't like about the art like the, the game design and, and as far as the level design goes um the boss fights are engaging they are challenging and they are actually fun to figure out because like i said metroid bosses are all about patterns and figuring out on your own is, is and, and then actually beating these bosses feels very very rewarding it's very fun to beat these um the length of the game i love it i love that this game is short i don't care what people say i don't care that people say like oh it's a 60 dollars game why is it only eight hours long nine hours long ten hours long however long it took you to beat it can take you anywhere from 10 to like 15 hours if you're really 100 percent it but yes i do like shorter games man because there's nothing worse than for me to play a long game with no purpose they, they just extend the story to extend it they extend um power-ups just to extend them like for example right now we're still playing through red dead redemption 2 i started that game in december of last year and i've put in almost 50 hours of that game i don't even think i'm like i'm probably like only three quarters into the game and it's like okay can i can, it, can we just get through with the story man like a lot of things just feel very they, they feel dragged out just for the sake of lengthening the game so yeah i'm really i, I really appreciate that the, the length of this game it made me it made it feel a lot more fun to get through it made it feel more i don't know challenging because at the end of the game you know the rewards at the end of the game metroid games usually at the end give you a reward um and they're all uh, based on the the length that it took you to beat um how how complete you actually went through everything did you complete did you get the items did you get um all of the uh the power-ups did you get all of the uh, uh missile tanks the energy tanks etc etc so there is a purpose to the length of the game for you to beat it under seven hours under four hours etc etc so um yes this game has replayability up the ass i'm sorry i didn't know another descriptive i didn't know another eject you know what i'm saying let me shut up just i take two weeks off man and it just it, the the talking skills just leave my body uh but yeah you can replay this game replayability replayability is amazing because it's really easy to 100 percent this game it's also uh, once you beat it spoilers you unlock hard mode which is something I'll talk about um, as far as accessibility. Um, you beat hard mode, so there's another uh, challenge uh, once you beat the game to actually beat the game in hard mode. Hard mode, and under certain circumstances, you get um, some really cool prizes at the end. Um, some rewards, not prizes. Um, some of the cons of Metroid Dread: the music is lacking. It's mostly atmospheric. Um, of course, it still has some really good tunes like for example the last the, the final boss theme is really really nice it's really really cool i enjoyed it a lot um but for the most part it's mostly atmospheric and i understand it it's part of the design of the game you're in the space you're in this alien world like they're trying to build up this atmosphere where everything feels dangerous everything feels like it's out to kill you and stuff so I appreciate that it still has some of the uh, classic tunes from metroid um like getting the power up uh, theme um or whenever you uh, boot the game you get the the little metroid uh, tune um, which i really appreciate it made me like think about all the previous games and just how amazing it made me feel to boot up a metroid game so it was a really nice I don't know little touch another con is that some of the basic enemies you know the enemies that you meet around the world um can feel a bit repetitive um there is some really there is some dynamism when it comes to the designs of some of the bosses or some of the, some of the enemies but they all boil down to the same thing like um some of them do have patterns uh, but at the same time like you you just like for example in, there's an ice uh area that has these little uh, floaty little fish floating fishies um i don't know what to even call them but um they're basically just uh, variations of one of the first enemies that you meet in the game so it, it tends to get a little bit repetitive uh, once you get to a certain part of the world um, a lot of the enemies do regenerate but they regenerate to enemies that you've already fought 
we're at like almost half of the game. Um, I hope I'm making sense, but I mean, there's only so much that you can, uh, so many enemies that you can fit in an eight hour game in a Metroidvania, which is just Metroid, it's, it's in the name. It's, it's the, the creator of the genre. Um, so yeah, that's, I mean, that's probably one of the only things I didn't like. Um, and accessibility wise, this is more, this doesn't really apply to me, but I can see why people would uh, be upset at this. Um, accessibility wise, it can be difficult for new players to the Metroid series to really enjoy the game because it has a lack of difficulty options. There's only one difficulty and it's normal. And normal is pretty harsh already. Um, and it doesn't really help that once you beat the game in normal, you unlock card mode, but there's no easy mode. Um, I know there's, you know, some accessibility issues as far as like newer fans not knowing how to play Metroid games. They might be discouraged because of how hard it is, how technical it can be, or how uh, unforgiven some of the bosses might be. Um, like I said, it's not an unfair game, but still, I can see where people are coming from. I just beat Kena, Bridge of Spirits, and I'll tell you, man, some of those boss fights in normal mode were impossible for me. So I did have to scale down the difficulty, at least for one boss uh, part. And I was like, damn, if, if if there wasn't an easy mode, I would have probably never played this game again. I would have never finished it. And uh, you get into this whole discussion of like, well, the developers made it difficult because that's the way that Metroid games have been. That's the way it should be. That's the way it should be. That's how you enjoy a game. You know, games should be challenging. But at the same time, you also want to experience the game fully, right? Because developers want people to beat their games. They want to get the whole scope of the game. You know, they just don't release unfinished stuff. They just don't release, hey, we only want you to play this game up to a certain point. No, they want you to beat the game. So you get into this whole discussion of games should be easier. Games should have the option of an easy mode, etc., etc. Um, but besides those three things, music being a bit lacking, basic enemies being a little bit repetitive, and just the lack of difficulty options, besides that, there's no other cons. Like this, to me, is game of the year worthy. I think this could pretty much win game of the year this year because it's it's a classic game. It's it's a game that people have been waiting for oh, like almost two decades for. Uh, me, I mean, I grew up with Metroid. I was playing super metroid on the uh, snes i was playing metroid fusion on the game boy advance which i literally have it right next to my bed because i was trying to beat it before metroid Dread came out didn't have too much luck with that um but yeah it's just it's a classic game it's, it's a cult classic and i can already see this game becoming a cult classic because it's just so good just so fun all I can say is that I recommend it. I recommend you beat it. It's a fun game. Um, it's a really challenging game. And once you beat it, you'll, I'm telling you, you'll feel very rewarded.